Hello everyone, just want to give my thoughts on Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. I, I guess they changed the movie to Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey to try to get more people out to the theaters. I went out and seen this a little over three weeks ago when it first came out. I'm a comic book fan and even if uh, I'm not part of the target audience that they wanted to attend, I'm still going to show my support. Let's see. Check it out. I'm not going to show too many major keys. I'm just going to talk about the movie, show some comics. Uh, this is Harley Quinn number 30. All right. Margot Robbie. Man, she kills it as Harley Quinn. Uh, she's gonna be up next into the Suicide Squad so I really don't think she has anything to worry about uh, I just uh, just wish the movie went in a direction of uh, giving us a Harley Quinn story uh, they could have went with the breakup that was great they focus majority of the movie the first probably almost two acts entirely on developing her character which she really didn't need that much development uh, we had Rosie Perez playing Renee Montoya um, I wish they took it from a different Avenue uh, she they had her as a top cop which that's what she is she's usually on a commissioner one of Commissioner Gordon's uh, prime task force you know, she was uh, you know, she later on becomes the question. She interacts with Batwoman. Uh, I mean, just a just a, a character that they, I guess, they could have developed her a little more. And I wish they just kept her away from, you know, identifying her as a member of the Birds of Prey. Uh, I wish they just introduced her into the universe. That way, uh, any follow-up videos they could have easily, you know brought her in as working with the superheroines by giving information or the heroines contacting her requesting information just sharing information working on tips and working together that way uh, here's a mini series uh, black canary oracle birds of prey manhunter it's a uh, one in four issues it co-stars catwoman and the huntress And with bringing Birds of Prey into the cinematic universe, you know, it, it opens the door to so many female characters. Uh, if they want to work on empowerment. There's so many strong uh, anti heroes and heroes. And Birds of Prey is a team that brings those people together. Uh, let's see. Grab this to see. We got the Huntress and the Catwoman. Uh, Black Canary was played by uh, Jernane Smollett Bell. I think she did outstanding. I mean, they actually, I liked her development and I liked her tie in to, to the storyline. Uh, like I said, I wish they just, you know kept it as an introduction and left the birds of prey out and just introduced the characters into the universe and when they did another standalone movie or if they wanted to do a birds of prey movie they could do an origin story where they've already met in this movie and brought them together in an actual birds of prey movie where you could you know have Batgirl or the Oracle you know, so many avenues, but what can you say? Got the Huntress. This is number one. This is uh, from one of her her uh, series. And we had Mary Elizabeth Winstead play. Um, they could have left that character out because she didn't come into effect till the very end. Um, her storyline. Uh, stayed very true to the source material so um, wish we could have got a little bit more of her uh, maybe next time you know 
I know the movie didn't do that great, but uh, you never can you never can tell. Someone might you know might fund it out of their own pockets, go lower budget, and because you could do a uh, a detective story or something if it's put together right. Uh, let's see, Cassandra Kane. I uh, this is probably the only thing that I didn't like about the movie. I wish uh, they left Cassandra Kane out and gave this Ella J. Bosco. I wish, I wish they just named her something else because uh, Cassandra Kane is probably one of the fierce combatants in the DC universe and in the Batman family. Uh, here's Batgirl number one. And this is her taking the mantle as Batgirl, and she's held so many other mantles in the Bat family, and probably hands down, you know, Batman struggles. Uh, she was uh, trained by Lady Sheba, who's one one of the, you know baddest females in the DC universe with hand to hand combat. But what can you do? Uh, they're Trail. Here's Batman Shadow of the Bat, uh, number one. This is uh, first appearance of Victor Zaz. Every pict uh, every portrayal of this character uh, I've liked. Uh, even even on uh, Gotham, the TV series, they portrayed him very well. And in the movie, some people didn't like the, his portrayal, but. Uh, I can understand the relationship between him and Black Mask. They have similar upbringings, so that, that could tie in their relationship there. Here's uh, Batman 386. Uh, first appearance of the Black Mask. Sorry. Got this in Mylar, so I'll pick up some extra glare. Uh, I liked uh, Black Mask. He did a great job. It showed that he could be set off, and that he he wasn't a balanced character. So, how I wish they would have ended it would was with uh, our superheroines, or even just you know, you know Harley doing her hand to hand and turning him over to Renee Montoya, and then showing him locked up in Arkham Asylum that would that would just you know tie so many other things in the Batman universe or or the DC universe I should say together but pretty much uh, I liked the movie I didn't think it was great uh, it's not something I'd go see a second time if it's still in the theaters try to catch it on matinee uh, if not catch it on uh, catch it on uh, when it comes out in video or when it comes out on a streaming network and share your thoughts uh, let us know what you think about it and hopefully the creators will open their ears and listen to some creative criticism share a couple more books with you this is showcase 96 and this is uh, like a prototype for the birds of prey and last but not least I'll share with you black canary oracle birds of prey number one uh, this is CBCS and they have this uh, listed as the first appearance of the birds of prey so 9.6 white pages pick this up for a great deal and as Bud always say don't apologize for the glare but I apologize sorry about that well that's it for now I'm gonna try to kick out a few more videos today there's a few support videos that I want to knock out to show support to the community. I've been doing a, a lot of support just making comments and hitting people up on Instagram. But as always, take care and enjoy the rest of your week. Peace and blessings. Take care, guys.